Yeah, that can 100% guarantee you I've never ever even attempted or even thought about having trying cocaine. Never ever interested me to do it whatsoever. Agreed, snap. Uh, but I do um, know lots of sportsmen what have tried it at some point. Do you really? Another. Lots? Uh, lots. Uh, I've also heard stories of other people uh, doing it. Um, I, I don't get it whatsoever. Um, perhaps because I like to have, have a drink here and there. That, that does it for me. But uh, a lot of people are inquisitive to try it. And footballers uh, think they might get away with it. It's a drug that only stays in your system, I think, is it 48 hours, Ed? And so it's the one that can probably take if you take something like a marijuana. Um, when you're still playing professional sport, it can be uh, detected for up to six months after. So people wipe that out of it and cocaine 48 hours, they think they're going to get away with it. Well, why? I don't understand. When you're, you're a professional footballer, you're a professional sportsman, you're getting paid a huge amount of money to kick a ball about, which must be something you dreamed of doing when you they were a kid. They can afford it, they think it's a buzz and they do it. I, 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 can't, I, I don't know because I've never been tempted to do it, and this is what I'm trying to say to you, but I don't get it, you don't get it. But there'll be lots of people out there at some point have been inquisitive. Someone's told them to try it, they've tried it, and they might never touch it again. But some might become casual users when they've had a drink. I don't know, I don't get it, Aid. I really do. I need someone to explain it to me because um, I think it's pathetic, I really do. We've just been talking before you came on, uh, for, and we talked about um, one of the things Steve Bruce said, it has said leading up to this game, but his players were overawed last week, too nervous, he couldn't get the best best out of them. I mean, does that happen? That's an interesting one. Because um, what do you do about it? You know, when do you, when do you see it? When do you feel it? Because as a manager, you, there's, there's a lot of times, Darren, where I've, I've done work on a Thursday, you know, where I've named my team and, and gone through tactics, etc. Et then come the Friday, something, go, something goes wrong. Do you make a change? Do you, do you make a change? In, and on the outside, looking in, looks, does it look like a panic up? On the inside, looking out, does it look like a panic up? You, you know, it's all about that calm decision making process that you've got to go through as a manager to get it right and then if Stevie's thinking I've done a bit of work here and it doesn't look right has he got the proverbials to make the change before the game and then maybe upset his own camp it's a real difficult one it is um, but I can't see them being overawed I mean you've got three ex-Spurs players going back to their own old stomping ground you know in Livermore in Huddleston and, and Dawson three well, big two players now. well Phil yeah let me let me tell you uh, Jake Livermore won't be playing because he's uh, been suspended by Hull this is just right. just emerged he's been suspended by the club after a positive test for cocaine now oh, I mean it's the yeah, last me. thing Steve Bruce would need as a manager what do you make of that well I'm shocked I'm absolutely shocked um positive test what was that an internal test or was that a league test it was after uh, um, it was after a game uh, I believe against Crystal right. Palace wow wow well that's a that's a body blow I've got to say it I'm, I'm walking around you know talking to you on, on the phone here and, I, and that I felt like that was almost a body blow to me you know so what, what it feels like to Steve and the rest of the boys can he galvanise them you know will he use it as a as a, a motivation tool it's a difficult one really difficult one